Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Welcome to part two and sorry about the jet. We're on the flight path from the airport. So we're doing some chain pulling pulled flowers and I'm going to try and be a little faster this time because I was a little, little lackadaisical last time. So what I'm going to try and do is give myself some colors that I like initially and as I go along I will try and choose another color to go with those colors, like white or a darker color. I pulled out a couple more colors that I love. And I'm going to combine colors that don't necessarily go with them to see what will happen. I don't know what, what's going to get overlapped or not. Ooh, that's dangerous. The tip is really large. I might just put gold in with a lot of them. I don't even know if I can get away with this the way I'm doing this, but I'm going to give it a shot. That's a Prussian blue. I think I told you of what a few colors were. I know that there's a good possibility in my mind that I'm going to want to put some uh, some dots on things after this is done if I get to that point. I have some <clears throat> metallic paler blue. There it is. Got it. I want that. That is what I want. They look like eyes right now. That's so funny. So this is a dangerous color because I cut the tips off sometimes if I don't, if I'm not getting enough fluid out sometimes and I know I'm going to want some more often than not, I cut the tips open and then they're too big. So you need to be really careful not to do that. <laughs> Said the girl who does it anyway. All right, I'm going to throw a little bit of this pink enamel in here that I introduced in the last video probably to everything because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link. My second book is called uh, Unlimited Possibilities. I'm going to put that red and that pink together and see what happens. And I don't know how often I'm going to be willing to uh, clean my chain off, but we'll find out. I like them kind of clean to begin with. Ooh, my canvas is getting sticky. That's not a good sign. But I'm stubborn. I don't give up easy. So it's going to be more like flowers. Definitely more like flowers. I'm going to go find another color. That's similar. Just keep moving. There's a good chance that I'll give it a shot to make them look more like what I wanted them to look like originally when I either tomorrow or in a minute. Depends on how well this is going. I'm just going to stop the pull. I'm going to spin those around. I think that might be the ticket, actually. Rest it in, spin it around in place, pull it down. Wow, took me a little too long to figure that out. Rest it in place, spin it around, pull it down. Rest it in place, spin it around, pull it down, and in that case, pull it back up again. I want to do it over here. <laughs> I've got extra, extra paint on my chain. I 
and some bland hearts. So if I let that chain rest for a second, a lot of times it will deposit its paint. Come on, stop swinging. And the spinning around part is got to be in place. So I like that trick. And I guess I kind of knew it before. I just wasn't using it. So spin your chain to get a heart shape. Or whatever happens to <laughs> after that. Let's hope that works itself out because those are some slightly muddy colors. But it's surprising, you know, if you if you make muddy colors and then you put them on something to let them you know, like runoff, you often will come back and find that they've made some tremendous patterns, so it's not safe to assume that everything looks like mud is going to be mud. What am I going to do with this? It's so cool. Such a neat little bunch of shapes. Alright, so I've got like at least one left, and I've got that mark that I don't want there, which I can probably blow out whether that's a good idea or not. This is really bothering me. Maybe not so much on the other side. I kind of like that actually. And let's make sure we're successful. Much, much better. And we'll spin that around. And I just want to lay my chain down for a second before I spin it around and pull it down. You've got to use just the end of it. If you're trying to use too much, it's not going to work. Although that's looking a little messy, it's still working out, believe me. A little messier than some. That's alright, a couple dots up there will fix that right up. <laughs> so I've got some neat stuff happening. I'm not sure about all of it. I wanted to... Um, give myself the opportunity to redo a few things and maybe add a couple dots here and there and there might have to be a part three hearts and flowers it's been a while since I did any chain pulls I've been playing with bloom techniques. Not succeeding particularly yet, but uh, playing with them. I'm trying to pay attention to what's worked here so far. And I think sometimes the riskier combinations are my favorites. I don't think I want to use all of that paint on there. Oh, my studio rag is not wet. Studio rag and chain go into the bucket. I want something brighter and I really, really liked the other yellow, which is begs the question, why did you grab the wrong one? Spin it around 
as best you can. Might take a little practice. Well worth the time. I'll lay that right in there and hope I can camouflage some of that stuff that looks like it dug down a canvas. And then I should have had uh, some little pans of color ready with dot dotability. I can't really, ooh, that's not good. All right, so let's see what we can do with that. I've got yellow, so that's not going to help. I thought it was going to drip. I think some more of this. I'm going overboard. And I've got two more chains to throw in the bucket. Oops. Hey, there's one of my dots already. Oh, wrong end. Much better. Makes me want to do it again right next to it, though. Super fancy heart. Once were hearts, now are flowers. But I did learn a few things that'll probably come in handy. That is a particularly stiff chain. And I want some lighter pink up there. And I'm sure my time is just going to disappear on me again. I don't think I'm really done with the flowers. I think I need some more. Well, I don't know about that. But I'll take the, take the smoochy chain and try and add a little something to it to give it a little more flavor. So I want a lighter color. And the minty green is not really what I want. What do I want? I want my favorite color. Go figure. I definitely want some more orange, but that might be for another time. So I'll just run this to part two no matter what. And uh, I'll add the stems and show you the thumbnail on part two. I really want some turquoise in there. What else can I put in there? Do I dare put anything else in there? That's kind of crazy. That's okay. I do crazy well. <laughs> so I'm just going to let all that paint spread out. That's not bad. Makes me want some white flowers though, I think. Try and use my residuals. Oh look, I had I left one undone. Now I will have more residuals. Maybe lots more little white flowers. With pink or blue. I want more of that yellow. There's just no doubt about it. Actually managed to do that without completely ruining it. Really, I have some silicone ice cube trays and I like the idea of using them next time I try something like this. And maybe I'll just be putting my 
colors instead of down out of the bottles, I'll be putting them down out of um, my spoons. Oops. Double oops. Well, you never know. Sometimes the weirdest accidents turn into the coolest things. I do need to, that to go up kind of high. And that to go over a little. Come over here, you. And then, because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link, I'm going to let that paint residual come right off there. I'm really tempted to steal some more. Because I like it. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick a smaller bottle for this stuff, absolutely. I think. I'm just going to let a couple of drips fall. Come on, near each other. All over the place. And then I'll join them theoretically using a skewer. Oops. Wow. Okay, that was really big. So I've got two minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Again. Please give me a thumbs up and know that all the times you watch the video longer you're helping my, my chance of staying at YouTube exponentially. Because the only thing the YouTube algorithm understands is you watching longer. So I could probably just add a little bit of darker orange to those flowers and be pretty happy about it. But they have more of a pop of color. I like, I like it better with them in there. And I'm really tempted to go ahead and do the same thing with the pink. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paints so that if I want to leave them heavy, they don't crack. I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. I will be adding stems. I think this is telling me that it's okay to add a few more flowers in a different color. And as long as I don't stick those dots next to each other, I don't really want there to be a part three. I think you guys know where this is going. And I'll be adding purple next. <laughs> There's no doubt about it going to be purple. Just using the flow of paint. So if you need to know anything like how to get in the drawing, watch another video. Uh, you can find them on my creative playlists on my channel. You can also find what the monthly drawing prizes are on the end screens the last 20 seconds of this video. I'm having a good time. I am. Thank you guys for joining me and the wonderful comments and keeping me painting all this time. And uh, I love you guys for that. That might not be dark enough. I got one minute left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you. And I think it wouldn't hurt me to leave some paint on there from something else. I want some of this. <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't think about it before. Lots of little buds, little heart buds. Why not? So if there's anything I forgot to tell you, there's Teespring. I designed the clothing for Teespring under the video. The paint pouring recipe is under the video. There's Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. They all start with that name. Some are appreciation groups. That's for students. Totes and Moors for shopping, checking out my Fire Nerd America. And Pixels.com. And uh, fans and collectors. Fair fans and collectors. 